If you've got little kids, you need all the help you can get. And Lester has some great tips that you might not have heard of. Why is this little girl in a box? Already done. Can you believe she's keeping her mom's house clean? It's just one of the parenting hacks suggested by Don Yannick of MomSanity.com. For kids who like to color on the walls, a great idea is to direct them to something a little less permanent, like a cardboard box. Give them a bunch of crayons or markers and let them have at it. It is a great way to engage in creative play for hours. Does your little one hate yogurt? I like yogurt. Try out this trick. Kids have an issue with the consistency of it sometimes, but a really easy thing to do is to take one of these little popsicle sticks and put it right in the yogurt and then stick it in the freezer. And then suddenly you have something that's like a popsicle. And what kid doesn't like popsicles? Who wants a popsicle? Me! But what happens when the popsicle starts to melt? We've got you covered. Just keep their little hands clean with a cupcake wrapper. Wow. Here's another ice cream hack. Keep an ice cream cone from dripping with this simple trick. Put a marshmallow at the bottom of the cone. How cool! Brianne Mance is a mom of three who blogs for Stroller in the City. And her kids are always slamming their fingers in the door. You can use a pool noodle to fix this problem. Cut off a small piece of the floaty, then cut it open lengthwise and attach it to the side of the door. Now when the door closes, it will bounce off the door frame. Those little fingers won't get caught. Do your kids use way too much soap to wash their hands? Kids do not understand the idea that less is more. More is more, and it is all over your bathroom. The solution? A rubber band. Loop the rubber band as many times as you can around the base. And what you're doing, essentially, is limiting the amount that they can actually dispense. Five-year-old Ciela has a tough time brushing her doll's tangled hair. There's a simple trick. Pour a little fabric softener into a spray bottle filled with water. Then spray the solution on the doll's knotty hair. It works, right? Wow. Her hair is better than I thought it. All helpful That's tips it. to make your life a little easier. It works. The hairstylist here says don't put that on your human hair, though. Still to come, 